end to end uh, uh, traceability is maintained uh, within RQM. So, execution uh, reports and dashboards. Okay, and uh, once you you have created your uh, you know test plan, your test cases are ready, and you created test scripts also, uh, and you attach. Uh, everything for traceability from requirements to your uh, uh, you know requirements to your testing phase and now, now the test plan is ready for execution and RPM you know in, includes an integrated test execution environment for running tests developed within the product developed within the product means your uh, manual test uh, and also out, outside the product like you can have your uh, scripts outside the RQM and you can integrate the uh, uh, tools like uh, functional tools, performance uh, tool, security testing tools. Okay. And all those uh, uh, tools enables you to create your uh, scripts and those scripts can be attached to a test case. And options for uh, uh, testing execution include you can run your test in uh, directly using your uh, single individual test cases are grouping them uh, in a test suite. Okay, test suite means okay, we have a group of test cases and that test suite can be run either sequential or parallel execution. So parallel execution means you can choose any test case at any point of time. Sequential means one after the another. So we have two options uh, for executing a uh, test suite. And uh, once you execute your uh, you know, all your test plans, uh, you, action quality manager in also includes a set of so predefined reports to help you to get status on your uh, project. Uh, let's see in the in the in the coming slides, uh, we have some predefined uh, reports you can uh, discuss. And uh, apart from predefined reports, you want your own customized uh, reports. Then you have a plugin with uh, RTM called Rational Reporting for a Development Intelligence and used for customized uh, reports. Uh, you know, it, it suits uh, your particular business needs. Out of the box reports may not be appropriate. Uh, it depends on your business needs. So RRDA is the best uh, plugin for your customized reports. And also you can see your live uh, reports and you can see your exhibition of your uh, uh, exhibition progress of your any test plan or you can just uh, browse the list of your test plan and opening the execution uh, way. Uh, Chandra, just, so just, just wanted to add one more point over here about this reporting. Uh, just can you go to the previous slide? Yeah, uh, just uh, one more thing like uh, we can integrate RQM with uh, rational publishing engine also. So if we want to customize our reports, then you know here we have a uh, flexibility to customize the report the way we want. I mean, if you want any changes in the format, okay, then it can be easily done by integrating with the RP. But uh, only, uh, I mean, the, the part is like it is a little bit time consuming. There are a lot of technical expertise required for to. Uh, uh, integrate with the RP or basically to uh, define the reporting. Okay. I mean like, uh, uh, I mean Chandra will show you in the next slide like how reporting is done in the RQM. But uh, what I my point is like by uh, integrating RP, you can basically customize the report the way you want as per your requirement. Yeah, thanks Chandra. Okay, uh, and these are some predefined uh, of reports uh, provided by RQM out of the box reports. Uh, I have shown very few. Uh, there are so many other reports uh, also. I have a different category of reports. Uh, we have defects category under defects category have defect list. So basically, defect list would have you know your defect status listing. Defect status means you would have raised your uh, you know defect while executing your uh, uh, manual test or uh, your automation uh, test uh, and the defect which is raised in RTC and uh, developer would be working on that and you want to know the status of those defects 
you can use this uh, report and defect arrival and resolution is uh, similar to that uh, the first one the only thing is okay who is the owner and uh, uh, where it is coming from and who has done the resolution for this and uh, in the execution category we have uh, execution status by machine uh, using uh, test case execution record so here we have test case execution record and test suite execution record so these two things uh, come into picture when uh, you want to assign uh, your test activity to some of your team members, testing team members. Uh, as just assume that as a test manager, I want to. Uh, we have a thousand test cases planned for particular release and thousand test cases uh, assigned to your different team members. You want to assign, and in that case, using your team. Uh, there is an option to create your uh, uh, test case execution record means only one test case can be assigned. Test suite execution record means a group of test cases can be assigned uh, to a uh, tester. And once the, uh, you, as a test manager, you assign a task and that task will go to uh, the respective owner as a notification. And from there you can, uh, the tester can start uh, his execution. So here, this type of reports here, execution status by machine using TCR. So you would have created, you know, multiple TCRs, and using those TCR count, want to uh, know the status by machine, machine-wise, because um, uh, as a part of testing activity, you would uh, uh, assign the automation test to a different machine, just for a load balancing. You cannot execute all thousand test cases in a single machine, and also that will take uh, too much of time. You spread that across your, uh, you would have your test labs, and each of these machines will be loaded in a different set of uh, test cases. So these are the different set of uh, 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 reports for execution. And the lab manager, uh, lab lab manager is also basically, for example, if you go back to the screen.